Just want to say welcome back to some more of The Walking Dead. Usually don't start on this screen, but uh, last time we left off, uh, Lee and the other guy, uh, not Kenny, but Lee and the other guy, one of the farm people, they uh, shot that woman in the woods. What was that all about? All right, let's get to it. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back! What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody, then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, Princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir-crazy when their tummy's empty. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. I don't like them. I don't like the farm people still. They freak me out. I'm gonna go check on Clementine and give her her hat back. You know what, I was actually uh, talking to somebody else who's played this and they, like, nobody could, like, believe how good this game is. Uh, it's just so amazing. And it's only gonna get crazier because, you know, there's gonna be three more episodes and I'm sure they'll do more stuff like this after this series is over, but I've been cherishing these videos. I play it when I'm in a good mood and, uh, hang on, let me, let me check. Just make sure. And I, and I re really appreciate all the support you guys are been showing these videos. It really is awesome to see it do so well after, uh, after all this time. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? I'm gonna be honest. Fuck him. We found a woman in the woods. She was talking all crazy and had a crossbow. So Danny killed her. Holy shit. Was she one of those bandits? I don't know. I think she was trying to tell me something, but then he just went off. I don't like this, Lee. I still say we should go back to the motor inn, where we at least know what to expect. What a... Oh, here we go. She will remember that. I hope so. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here, and we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. So he's the asshole. Does he treat you like that too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. 
Don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad, and I love him. Family first, I guess. Do you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. I just want to see Herschel with his infinite ammo shotgun. Just just one more time. Just, just one more time. You know? You guys don't believe me. I said this in the first episode. You don't believe me. But go watch that season two finale. He has a pump action shotgun and it is not, it does it never runs out of ammo. It's okay, Clementine, you can pet her. It's okay, go ahead. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I really wanted to talk to Kenny. I really, you know what? Duck hasn't been as annoying in episode two. Do I still like him? Hell no. <laughs> Let me talk to homeboy here. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? How's the cow? Damn, I met that woman. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. That bitch has been cooking for a moment. She's cooking up a person, I know it. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Thanks. Yep. Let me give her How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motorhead who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee. Do you think you'll ever have kids? Ooh. I don't know. I haven't thought about having kids in a long time. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Shit, I'll pet that motherfucker. She looks skinny. Alright, Duck, talk to me. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like duty. <laughs> Kids. Huh. Can't talk to her. She's too far away. Who's looking at here? Stall door. Huh. There's something out there. Nothing's different. Looking out the window, really. Let's head back. There's another one of those things. Ooh. I want to play in the hay. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. 
Uh, every time I see that little little chump, I think about Sid from Toy Story. I just think about uh, Slink and Rex, fucking hiding from him. Uh, what we got here? Well, can we open some of these boxes? This looks like one of the same boxes at that place. Empty. Huh. Alright, let's head out. There's gotta be something in this barn that I'm missing. No, let's not use the door. Ooh. The fuck? Person's clothing. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh. Smells pretty foul. Huh. Maybe it's one of those people that they claimed ran away to find their loved ones. You know what? Maybe there's like bodies up under the hay. That's why it smells so bad in here. It's a feeding trough. What's that? Like a rock? All right. I'm about to bust this shit wide open, just like Columbo, you know what I'm saying? He always he's like he's like always friends with the enemy. He's I I don't understand how you how you figured this out. Just some fence posts. I you know, I didn't check the windows on the other ones. Maybe I should have. Is there another one? There's like one more in here. No? Alright. Let me talk hey to him there, Andy. Yep. Yeah, thanks. Yep. Word. <laughs> Is there like a ladder in here? Nothing? Alright. Let's just try and use this. How about I get stopped? You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Don't do it. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban? Oh. Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. Urban. Kind of bullshit, is What? There? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Huh. What's behind this door, Andy? Just tools. We keep it locked so the people in the woods don't try and grab them. Uh, we'd be dead without them. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just... You know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. 